Okay, so remember when Steven Jackson said this about Gail King. So, Gail King's supposed to be somebody that's big in the journalism space, right? And I don't, I don't consider her black media. Y'all, y'all give her all these passes because she fuck with, uh, she's a uh, Oprah friend. I don't give a fuck who friend she is. I don't do nothing for nobody. But you cannot demean Dawn, uh, Dawn Staley like that. You talking to her about winning the championship, about going undefeated, and you have the nerve to get on there and say, "Well, we was rooting for Caitlin Clark, and and, and you broke everybody's hearts." Who is we? Who is we? All the black people I know was rooting for Dawn Staley. We all fans of Caitlin Clark, but the way you put it, that shit was trash. Yeah, and and, and it's an, and I'm I'm glad I'm glad it's a new day in the media space. You know what I'm saying? Because. You you say you so say you so intelligent. You don't even say stuff like that to, to, to somebody on the interview. You just demeaned her and made it about Caitlin Clark. That's trash. It's super trash. Okay, so that's what Steven Jackson had to say about Gail King. Jason Whitlock took to Twitter and he had to say some things about that. This is what Jason Whitlock said in response. This is prison mentality. Choose sides based on skin color, not values. We've normalized a prison worldview rather than a biblical worldview. It's sad. We don't even recognize the immorality and illogic. Okay, so Jason Woodlock is going at Stephen Jackson for his response. And Stephen Jackson finally responded to Jason Woodlock by name on his Instagram page. And I would like to highlight that clip because we all know Stephen Jackson, he usually sugarcoats when he responds to people he doesn't like saying people name. So he'll just drop some subliminal hints and then you got to pick and choose who you think he's talking about. But Steven Jackson, he actually tagged Jason Woodlock in his post that I'll be highlighting for you guys in today's video. So with that being said, guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let's check out what Steven Jackson had to say in response to Jason Woodlock. Here's a video. What up, world? Usually I don't even respond to this cat, Uncle Ruckus, AKA Jason Shitlock, I mean Whitlock. To say that I'm rooted for Don Staley over Caitlin Clark simply because she was black is the dumbest thing to say. I was a big Don Staley fan. What number did I wear my rookie year? 24. The sad part is, you can't go a day without hating on black people. You nothing but a puppet and a brown noser for the hating minority part of the world. That's what you do. You give people confidence to hate. I guess it's not racist when the black man said, huh? And that's not being a free thinker or being free minded. You just a sucker and you've been a sucker and you find a way to demean people to get attention. But nobody watch your show, bro. You're not a part of the culture. And I hate I even address addressed you because you probably can't even hear me because you're somewhere breathing hard trying to get up the steps. Facts. We give Caitlin Clark nothing but love and we'll continue to. I have daughters that play basketball. We support the WNBA just like we support the NBA. Happy 420 to all my bud brothers and sisters out there. Coming up, you're going to start seeing me wear a lot of WNBA jerseys. And I will have Caitlin Clark jerseys on. Whitlock, idiot. Love for all who have love for all. We know how to support our people and be proud and black without demeaning the next race. You dig? You should try it. Y'all have a good weekend. Okay, so that's what Steven Jackson had to say in response to Jason Whitlock. I would like for you guys to get in the comment section down below and share your thoughts about today's video. Can you see it from Jason Whitlock's point of view and or can you see it from Steven Jackson's point of view? You know, Stack 5 is like, yo, why are you trying to call me out? I didn't make it about that. And he's just saying that Jason Whitlock is not connected to the culture. On Jason Whitlock's end, right now there's a lot of racial tension with Caitlin Clark, because now they are saying that she's like this token white girl for the WNBA. She's getting a lot of sponsorship deals. She just got a massive Nike shoe deal for eight figures. And, you know, that's causing a lot of jealousy in the WNBA. They even tried to throw the comparison, like, how come A.J. Wilson is not getting any deals like that from Nike or the WNBA pushing her like that? when she's a two-time WNBA champ and two-time MVP. So, you know, it's like this comparison going on right now with Caitlin Clark. Of course, don't get me started with her and Angel Reese. So, yeah, for Steven Jackson and his first response to Gail King, when he was like, oh, you know, I'm black. So, of course, I was rooting for Don Staley. He could have just called out Gail King for her comments and pointed out how great of a coach Don Staley is. Talked about her record, her accolades as a coach, and whatever else. But, you know, when he had said that he's black and he and that's the reason why he's watching and supporting her. It came off that way. And that's the reason why people like Jason Woodlock 
And other people kind of took it that way. Like, yo, why is race being brought up right now? So, yeah, man, I can see the racial tension and the racial division right now. I did a video today talking about that, as a matter of fact. And if you missed that video, it should be popping up right now at the bottom left of your screen. And the link should be down below in the description box or in a pinned comment. Hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Comment down new sub if you're new sub. Catch you guys on the next video. And we all guys, peace.